Hello, and welcome to a recorded demonstration on how to pull your school's data points to complete your school-based service delivery plan. Data will be pulled from the LAUSD School Experience Survey dashboard from the prior school year and the wellness metrics provided by School Mental Health. I will walk you step-by-step -step through pulling each of the data points requested on the service delivery plan template. Feel free to pause and rewind this video for reference following this training. Let's get started. First, download the newest version of the service delivery plan template. Once you download the template, you're going to hover your mouse over the first title that says School Experience Survey and click your mouse. This should open up a hyperlink to the LUSD School Experience Survey dashboard with the results from the previous school year. You can also find the same link on the top of the document. Make sure to select your school on the drop down option located on the left hand side. In this demo, I will pull data from a high school setting in LD East. The first student data point is, I feel like I am part of this school. You will see parentheses that states exactly where to locate each data point on the survey. You can find the survey item under school climate under the content area of connectedness and it is item B. Make sure to select the group students on the top left side next to your selected school. Also select the category school climate, which is to the right of group. Then scroll down to the content area of connectedness and find item B. The first percentage listed in blue is the data from your school site and the second percentage listed is the LUSD average. The data from the school site I'm using states that 63% of students feel that they are part of this school and 59% is the LUSD average. Take that information and input that into the first section of your service delivery plan template. The second student data point is, there is an adult at my school whom I trust and can talk to no matter what has bothered me. This can be found under the category school climate in the content area of connectedness and it is item I. As you can see in my school's average is 60% and the LUSD average is 54%. Take that information and input that into the second section of your service delivery plan form. The third student data point is, there is at least one adult at my school who supports me. This can be found on the category of school climate and the content area of connectedness and it is item J. As you can see, my school's average is 68% and the LUSD average is 64. Again, transfer this information onto your form. The last data point in this section is, I was able to clearly describe my feelings. This can be found under the category of social emotional learning. So scroll up and select that category. You can find this data point under the content area of student social awareness and it is item D. As you can see, my school's average is 39% and the LUSD average is 42%. Take this data and plug it into your form. For the next two data points, we'll be looking at the group teachers and all staff. Again, next to each data point, you will see the parentheses that see exactly where to locate each data point on the survey. The first data point in this section is, what I learned at professional development meetings addresses my students' needs. You're going to select the group teachers, the category school climate, and you can find this data point under the content area of teaching satisfaction and it is item D. My school's average is 43% and the LUSD average is 66%. Take that information and input that into your service delivery plan form. The next data point, disruptive student behavior is not a problem at this school. You can find this data point under the group all staff under the category of school climate and the content area of student behavior and is item C. My school's average is 36% and the LEOC average is 61%. Again, take this information and plug it into your form. For the next two data points, we'll be looking at the group parents. 
Again, next to each data point, you will see parentheses that states exactly where to locate each point on the survey. The first data point in the section is, I can easily find information about parent workshops or other programs offered at this school. You can find this data point under the group parents, under the category of school climate, and in the content area of resource availability. And it is item F. My school's average is 70% and the LUSD average is 76%. Again, take that information and plug that into your document. The last data point in this section is, I feel welcome to participate at this school. You can find this data point under the group parents, under the category of school climate, and in the content area of parent engagement, and it is item B. My school's average is 80% and the LUSD average is 82%. Take this information and plug it into your form. The next group of school data points on attendance and behavior will be pulled from the wellness metrics provided by school mental health. This Excel data file is for internal use only, so please do not share this information with others. If you click attendance and behavior data, it will open up a hyperlink to the document. You can also find a link at the top of the document under the school experience survey link. The first data point is a percentage of students with 96% and above attended rates. Open the link. Once open, scroll or filter to find your school. The first data point is the percentage of students with 96% and above attendance rates. As you can see, my school's average is 28.2%. Take that information and input that into your service delivery plan form. The LUSD average is already listed. The second data point is office discipline referral count. My school's referral count is 106. Transfer this information onto your document. The last data point is a suspension data with number of events, which includes in-school and out-of-school suspensions. My school has only one. So take that data point and input that into your service delivery plan form. If any of your data reads no data, that's okay. You can just input the words no data on your form. This concludes this demonstration video. We hope this step-by-step -step guide has been a helpful tool in teaching you how to pull data for your service delivery plan. If you need more support, plan on attending a service delivery plan lab. Have a great day.